Hi everyone, this is Tony Hollowitz and I want to thank you for being here. So in this tutorial, I want to show you a little bit about just sort of getting comfortable in Microsoft Outlook. So in the previous tutorials, I showed you how to send and receive an email. Pretty basic stuff. And I'm sort of making the assumption that you've had the email set up and you're just looking to send and receive your first email. This tutorial, I want to make it easier for you to look at Outlook and make it feel comfortable to you. So I think to do that, I just want to show you around a little bit and tell you a couple things that I talk about or think about when looking at Outlook and talking to my clients. So first of all, you'll notice that right here, we have some emails in here. We have an email over on the right that we're previewing. We have these items over here on the left, but we have a lot of spaces that we can move around. So for example, right here, I'm going to put my pointer on this little line right in between the emails in the gray border or bar on the left. And when I get this two headed arrow, I'm going to click and hold and I can drag it right or left. So I can make things bigger or smaller. Also, if I come over here to the right, we have a line here between the preview and these items here. And I'm going to put my pointer on there. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag in and you'll see the actual look of the email takes on a different look. So the reason I wanted to show you this is because if you see this look right here, what I like to do for my next example is, and again, let's assume this is what you're seeing in your computer. I like to bring this out all the way to the right a bit more. So these items are more just one line and right on top of one another. And the reason I like that is because when I go to show you how I'm going to organize stuff, I think it gives you greater flexibility. So if you work with Microsoft Excel, you might or might not know this, but you can sort things in Excel based on their column. Well, the same thing here. Notice that right now, I'm going to come up here and click on the word from. And when I click on it, I'm going to get a little arrow pointing up. And what it did is it took all these emails and sorted them alphabetically from A to Z. If you had any emails where the from had a number in it, they would come first. If I want to reverse the sort order, I can just click on from again. And I reverse the sort order. Now, if I want to do it by the subject, I can click on subject and put everything in order based on the alphabetical order of that. You'll notice that up here, when you first look at this, you're like, why is test that begins with a T? But actually, it's picking up on the bracket around the word test or the parenthesis. So that's why it's putting first, then a few numbers came first. You can also resize these headings. So if I click, when I put my pointer on the line, I get a two-headed arrow. It looks a little bit different than the one over here. But I can drag this and move it in and out as I so desire. So it gives me more information here. I can also click on these items up top and hold and drag it to another spot. Another thing I can do is I can take items, like I have this little bell here that is a sort by reminder if I want to click on that, but I can click on this and just drag up off the screen and remove that because that's stuff I don't really need. The exclamation point just tells that someone said it was important on their end. Honestly, I don't really ever look at that because it's really what's important to me. So I'm going to drag that up and off. What I like to see first is I like to see received. So I generally will put that first. Here tells me I have an attachment. Here tells me that I've replied. So it gives me a little bit of feedback. But as you can see, I'm going to take mention. I'm going to drag it up off here. Some of these items, the size, I don't need the size, and I don't need categories. I don't need to know if it's flagged. So I'm cleaning it up a little bit. So now these items are much more concise. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll put this, the attachment area right here just to give me a little space between the date. So all I've done is I've dragged some stuff up off the screen. I've also shown you how to sort things and resize some things. And all of a sudden, this starts to take on a little bit of a different look. It just cleans it up a little bit. It takes you away from the information you don't necessarily need. So in this tutorial, I just want to show you how you could mess around with some of the stuff and clean it up and make it work for the way your eye sees it as being the neatest or the best. And again, we all have different approaches, but I just want to give you some insight on that. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Holowitz. Thank you very much. You have a great day. Be well, my friends.